What if I told you how a child's tragic story remains untold? A story that has haunted a city for decades, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and broken hearts. In 1957, a chilling discovery shocked the city of Philadelphia. The lifeless body of a young boy was found abandoned in a cardboard box off a desolate road. He was nameless, faceless, and alone. The discovery was made by a young man checking his muskrat traps. What he found would forever change the course of his life and the lives of many others. Investigators pored over every clue, dissecting the scene with meticulous precision. The boy's hair had been crudely cut and his body bore signs of severe malnutrition and abuse. Who was he? And more importantly, who could commit such a heart-wrenching act? The boy's body was covered in bruises and his small frame told a story of prolonged suffering. The investigators were determined to uncover the truth, but the more they dug, the more elusive the answers became. Despite exhaustive efforts, no family ever came forward. No missing person report matched his description. He became the boy in the box, his identity shrouded in silence. The community was left in shock, unable to comprehend how a child could simply vanish without a trace. The police received numerous tips and leads, but each one led to a dead end. The boy's identity remained a mystery and the case grew colder with each passing year. Over the years, countless theories emerged. Was he a runaway? Some speculated that he was the victim of a human trafficking ring, while others believed he had been abandoned by a desperate family. Theories ranged from the plausible to the outlandish, but none could be definitively proven. A victim of a cruel caretaker, each lead brought hope, only to end in despair. The investigators interviewed countless individuals, hoping to find someone who recognized the boy. They visited orphanages, schools and hospitals, but no one could provide any information about the child's identity. The case became a source of frustration and heartache for those involved as they struggled to find answers in a sea of uncertainty, only to end in despair. The case grew colder with each passing year, but the determination to solve it never waned. New detectives took up the mantle, hoping to uncover the truth that had eluded their predecessors. They re-examined old evidence, followed up on new leads, and utilized the latest forensic technology, but the boy's identity remained a mystery. The case remains open, a cold file in the annals of criminal history. Yet it continues to spur new inquiries, captivating the minds of true crime enthusiasts and investigators alike. Each year, new technology revives hope that one day, the boy in the box will finally have a name. Advances in DNA testing and forensic science have provided new avenues for investigation, and there is hope that these tools will eventually lead to a breakthrough. True crime podcasts and documentaries have brought renewed attention to the case, keeping the boy's story alive in the public consciousness. Until then, his story remains a haunting reminder of the fragility of life and the depths of human cruelty. The boy in the box is not just a cold case, he is a symbol of the countless children who suffer in silence, their stories untold and their voices unheard. His case serves as a stark reminder of the importance of protecting the most vulnerable members of our society and ensuring that no child is ever forgotten. Stay tuned for more tales that defy explanation and challenge our understanding of justice. Join us as we delve into the mysteries that continue to baffle investigators and captivate the public. From unsolved murders to unexplained disappearances, we will explore the darkest corners of human nature and seek to uncover the truth behind these haunting cases. Together, we will shine a light on the shadows and give a voice to those who can no longer speak for themselves.